Good day, mga batang mandunong. I am Sir Joey Albert F. Gabriel from Mandaluyong High School, and I will be discussing with you about simplifying rational algebraic expressions. What are the objectives for today's lesson? First, identify if the given expression is a rational algebraic expression. Second, simplify rational algebraic expression. So what do we mean by rational algebraic expressions? Rational algebraic expressions are fractions that have a polynomial in the numerator, denominator, or both. It is denoted by P all over Q, where P is your numerator and Q is your denominator. Take note that the denominator should not be equal to zero or cannot be zero. Why? Because if the denominator becomes zero, then the fraction is already undefined. What do we mean by polynomial? It states there that the numerator and denominator should be polynomial. Let's have a quick review regarding polynomial. We have four given conditions so that we can say that the given expression is a polynomial. First, the variable has no negative exponent. We have an example of 4x squared. The exponent there is 2, and 2 is positive. Therefore, 4x squared is a polynomial. We have another example of 4x raised to negative 2. Negative 2 there is the exponent, and it is a negative exponent. Therefore, 4x raised to negative 2 is not a polynomial. Second condition, the variable has no fractional exponent. We have an example of 4x cubed. 3 there is the exponent, and it is a whole number. Then, 4x cubed is a polynomial. We have another example of 4x raised to 2 thirds. 2 thirds is a fraction. Therefore, 4x raised to 2 thirds is not a polynomial because it does not satisfy the second condition. Third, the variable is not inside the radical symbol. We have an example of x plus square root of 4. It is a polynomial because x is not inside the radical symbol. However, we have square root of x. This example is not a polynomial because variable x is inside the radical symbol. Last but not the least, the variable is not in the denominator. We have an example of x all over 4 x is in the numerator. Therefore, this example is polynomial. We have another example of 2 all over x, and x is in the denominator. Therefore, 2 all over x is not a polynomial. Now, let's have another example, and let's see if the given example is a rational expression. Example number one. We have 1 over x all over x. So the first one, we need to check if the numerator and denominator should be a polynomial. And we have four conditions so that we can say that the given expression is a polynomial. So let's check it one by one. First condition, the variable has no negative exponent. We have an exponent of 1, and this is positive. So the first given condition has met. Second one, the variable has no fractional exponent. The exponent there is 1, therefore the second condition is met. Third condition, the variable is not inside the radical symbol. We, have, we don't have a radical symbol in this example, so we jump to condition number 4. The variable is not in the denominator. We can see that on the numerator, 1 all over x, the variable there is on the denominator. 
Therefore, it does not satisfy the fourth given condition. Then, this example is not a rational expression. Second one. 2x raised to negative 2 all over 5x. Let's check if the numerator and the denominator is a polynomial. First, the variable has no negative exponent. On the first given condition, it does not satisfy because the exponent that we have on this example is negative 2 and it is a negative number. Therefore, this example is already not a rational expression because numerator is not a polynomial. Third, 2x raised to 1 third minus 5 all over x minus 1. First condition, no negative exponent. We don't have a negative exponent, so the first given condition has been met. Second condition, no fractional exponent. And we can see that on the numerator, we have one third as an exponent, and it is a fraction. Therefore, it does not satisfy the second condition. Then, this example is not a rational expression. Next, 4x minus 8 all over square root of x minus 7. First condition, the numerator and the denominator should be a polynomial. The variable has no negative exponent. The exponent on this example are all positive. Second condition, the variable has no fractional exponent. The second condition has been met. The third condition, the variable is not inside the radical symbol. And we can see that the, on the denominator, the variable x is inside the radical symbol. Therefore, the third condition has not been met. Then, this example is not a rational expression. 2x all over 3y. So let's check if the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. First, the variable has no negative exponent. The variable here is 1, so we don't have a negative exponent. So condition number 1 has been met. Second condition, the variable has no fractional exponent. We don't have a fractional exponent. Second condition has been met. Third, the variable is not inside the radical symbol. We don't have any radical symbol. Therefore, we, we have to jump on the fourth condition. The variable is not in the denominator. So we can see that we don't have any fraction in the numerator and the fraction in the denominator. Therefore, all conditions has been met. Therefore, this example, 2x all over 3y, is a rational expression. Next, x plus 5 all over x plus 7. The variable has no negative exponent. Check. Number 2, the variable has no fractional exponent. Check. Number 3, the variable is not inside the radical symbol. Check. And last but not the least, the variable is not in the denominator. Check. Therefore, x plus 5 all over x plus 7 is a rational expression. Next, 6 all over 8. The variable has no negative exponent. We don't have any variable. So therefore, this condition has already been met. So 6 all over 8 is a fraction. And it is a polynomial in a single degree, one degree. So, this example is a rational expression. 6 all over 8 can be reduced into lowest term. Very good. So, 6 all over 8. So, we have to take all the factors of 6 and 8. So, the factors of 6 
is 2 times 3 and the 8 is 2 times 4. We have to cancel both common factor, which is 2. So it become 2, cancel 2, and one, it will become 1. So 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 4 is 4. Therefore, the lowest term of 6 all over 8 is 3 fourths. How about, and this is still a rational expression. How about 4x squared y all over 6xy? What is the lowest term of this one? So how do we simplify rational algebraic expression? So we have two steps to follow. The first step, factor the numerator and denominator completely and divide the numerator and denominator by all factors common to both. So let's have an example. 4x squared y all over 6xy. First step, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So using the common monomial factor, so 4x squared y, the factors is 2xy quantity of x all over the factor of 6xy, 2xy quantity of 3. So we have the same common factors. So the second, con second step, divide the numerator and denominator by all factors common to both. So we have to cancel out 2xy since it is common to both factors, numerator and denominator, become 1. So 1 times x is still x, and 1 times 3 is 3. So x all over 3 is the lowest term of 4x squared y all over 6xy. Let's have another example. We have x minus 3 all over x squared minus 9. So let's factor the numerator and the denominator. The factor of the numerator is still x minus 3. And the factor of the denominator is quantity of x plus 3 and the quantity of x minus 3. Second step, divide the numerator and the denominator by all factors common to both. So we have x minus 3 as the common factor for both numerator and the denominator. So let's cancel that out and it will become 1. So your numerator now is 1 all over x plus 3 times 1, it is x plus 3. So the lowest term or the simplified term for x minus 3 all over x squared minus 9 is 1 all over x plus 3. Let's have more examples. x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x squared plus 5x plus 4. The first step, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So the factor of the numerator is x minus 2y quantity of 3x plus y. And the factors of the denominator is 2x squared y quantity of 3x plus y. Second Step, divide the numerator and the denominator by all factors common to both. Since the common factor is 3x plus y, let's cancel that out. Let's have 1. So x minus 2y times 1, it is still x minus 2y. And 2x squared y times 1 is 2x squared y. So the simplified term for x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x squared plus 5x plus 4 is x minus 2y all over 2x squared y. Next, z all over 2z. First, factor the numerator and the denominator completely. So still the factor of z is z and the denominator is 2 times z. So divide the numerator and the denominator by all factors common to both, which is z. So let's cancel z. Let's have 1. So 1 half is the simplified term for z all over 
to z. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Goodbye!